a lot of the time doing the opposite of what we've been encouraged to do works. And in this case, it's definitely true. We're taught to ignore how we feel. Times are changing recently. There are be There is better advice out there now than there was when I grew up in the 90s, the early 2000s. But we're largely taught to ignore it. We're largely taught that when something uncomfortable comes up, that we should distract ourselves, we should use it to do something else, we should exercise, we should learn more about it, we should talk to someone about it, we should talk to a therapist, we should meditate, go have something to eat, drink a glass of water, take a vitamin, go get a pill from a doctor. All of this is pretty much the exact opposite of what we should do. In my opinion, of course, and my experience, I just can't see another way that it's going to work to heal. The first step is to get into the body. Let's say you just have an unpleasant feeling in the body, in the stomach or throat, chest, the very common areas. Then usually what the normal advice would say to do is to maybe breathe through it, do something else look external to ourselves to avoid it. But what I'm going to say is that we need to explore it. We need to try to bring it closer. To try to hold on to it as much as possible. To try to make it as bad as you can. Try to increase it as much as you can. When you start to do these things, you will start to see that you can't hold on to it. It's a funny thing. We can have low level f feelings that are just trapped there. And, and when they're trapped there, we can sometimes be half in them and half out of them. We just sort of walk around in this state. We say that we've hit a rough patch. We're depressed, whatever it is. We say we dwell in these feelings. But we're not really dwelling in them. We're just sort of half in them, half dreaming, half living our lives. But if we really go inside them to try to make them as strong as we can, to try to really hold on to them, Really just be inside them and act as though you're going to be there forever. And just hold on to the thoughts and the feelings as close as you can. You will very quickly realize that you can't and they disappear very quickly. And then a new layer is reached. Sometimes there's other emotions under it. Sometimes there's peace, you can get very lucky, but that's rare. Sometimes you get a break for a couple of weeks where you feel better, and then it comes back worse than ever before. But if we pretty much do the opposite, which is go inside, go as deep as possible and stay there and hold on to it, make these sensations and thoughts and feelings as loud as we possibly can. This is the, in my opinion, only way to heal. 
Thanks, guys.